We'll talk about the Brisbane Lions next, um, a team that finished fourth uh, in exciting fashion with a record of 15-7, and seven, a percentage of 134%, which is, uh, that's like premiership quality. Their exit was in a straight set fashion, yep. which is uh, the opposite of what you outstanding. Want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you make of the Lions? Uh, they've been that team, they've been the, probably the most consistent team the past three, four years, you could say, but... They just haven't been able to capitalise on that consistency when it matters mm. most, mm. which I is becoming a bit of a recurring theme for them, which would start to raise alarm bells, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, any positives that come to mind off the bat? Well, obviously, like they've had a good season. You can't like knock them for 15-7 with such a good mm. percentage. Finals, you can knock them for, but they did everything they needed to to put themselves in the conversation. They just haven't been able to click. Yep. I think um, I th- I'd say positives. Uh, speaking specifically, I'd say uh, the exciting nature to make the top four. Mm. You know, they, the the way they um, overcame that percentage by what point one percent or something silly um, to to leapfrog the Bulldogs would have been a memory, prov- almost the best memory for the Lions fans. Since about two thousand and three. Yeah, I don't know. Lions fans can let me know, but in terms of the excitement of that, um, yes, they beat Richmond in a final in twenty twenty, um, but this would have been close, I'd say. Mm. Um, that, that really made it exciting. They overcame a sluggish start to the year. Part of that was uh, out of their control. With uh, They lost a home game, if you remember. Yeah. Um, the, their game got moved against Collingwood, I think. Something like that. Was it against Collingwood? Yeah. Um, I think they ended up winning that, ironically. But anyway, like they, they had a bit of a disrupted start to the year. Neil was out for patches. That's it wasn't right. his best year. That's true. Yeah, true. true. When you take out you know, their A-grade midfielder. That their reigning Brownlow medalist. Makes it hard. Danaher, got to be a big positive. In Very terms much of, so, yeah. Um, Stayed rec- on the park as much as anything is a positive for Danaher. Did he play every game? I think he played, 24, Close to I think it. He played 24 games, 46 yeah. goals. Um, and he yeah, just came in and ticked the box of exactly what they wanted from Danaher. Yeah. He wasn't going to win the Coleman. Um, maybe some people oh, thought it was a chance, but uh, the structure side of it, as much as anything, that was one yeah. thing that they really lacked. And obviously with Hipwood doing his ACL, that's an even better move now. Forward line uh, has become one of the most dangerous in the comp, when you especially consider the smalls. Yeah. So Charlie Cameron, we knew about. Um, uh, the, the former guy, McCarthy. Lincoln McCarthy, sorry, yeah. That's yeah, who I was trying to say. Zach Bailey. Forward <laughs> mid, he's very nice. One of those, Outstanding uh, footballer. Uh, like, multiple four goal games. He is going to be a serious jet, like mm. I reckon multiple Australian winning player. Uh, he's been my biggest takeaway from them this year. I'm so jealous that we drafted, uh, yeah, that we drafted Jared Brander instead <laughs> of Zach Bailey. Yeah. Oh my god, what a yeah. gun he is! Starsevich is another one that I was hoping yeah. the Eagles would get that they took, and he's he's been outstanding. Marcus Adams had a great year for them down back as well. So yeah. uh, a lot WA of, boys there, yeah, true. Oh, oh no, yeah, Bailey's from Northern Territory, yeah. but you're right, yeah, a few WA boys. Um, so yeah, a year full of positives. There was a year of progression, uh, if not in results, but in certainly um, the development of you know those younger players. I alluded to. How would you go about negatives? The finals straight sets, like just the fact they've, like I said, been so consistent to get themselves to that point every year. You have to capitalise because there's going to come a time when you're not going to be able to be that consistent team to yep. give yourselves the opportunities to win a flag. Mm. So you've got to take advantage of these opportunities while you can. Yep, I agree. Yeah, it, it, it's an interesting question. Like when you finish top two, top two, top four, you know, there's no guarantee you're going to get there again. So you mm. kind of got to capitalise. But again, the flip side of that is they're a young team that kind of elevated yeah. themselves a little bit early. And you need to just give yourself the opportunity. So if they kept giving themselves the opportunity one year, it might all click and go through. Very true. Yeah. So that sort of thing. But a lot of finals experience in that yeah. team as well for a young list. Like some of their yeah. best players are very young. Like Zach Bailey's like mm. 21, 22. McCluggage's pretty young. Yeah, Starsevich. Yeah, McCluggage's one of the best absolute players. Um, yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of upside. Cam Rayner, yeah. uh, I'll put that as a negative actually. Cam Rayner doing his ACL mm. and missing the whole year yeah. uh, for a former number one pick is not ideal. But hopefully, Especially one that's needed to get on the park to sort of build that momentum and, yep. and establish himself. He's never really had the chance. That's true. Hopefully he will follow in the, well, for Brisbane's uh, perspective, following the Petrarca footsteps because yeah. he did his ACL pretty early as well. So uh, much earlier, but still. Going out in straight sets is the main negative, or, uh, albeit for the third year in a row they got knocked uh, or they lost to the grand final teams. Yeah. Well, no, third year in a row they've played the grand final teams, mm. um, which is unlucky, I guess. But I suppose yeah. your chances are pretty high if you're playing finals. So. Yeah, you're going to um, deal with the grand finalists at some point. Yeah, that's right. Um, so their finals record in general has been poor. I think they've lost... Um, They've lost five out of six finals, and only one of them was in, not in Queensland. Yeah. So, uh, they've only lost like something like, f- 
five or six mm. games at the Gabba. I think it's yeah. six games at the Gabba or something like that, and four of them were finals. So something like that. So last year was the year they should have capitalised, really. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And that was an inexplicable prelim performance, mm. but we won't talk too much about last year. <laughs> uh, at their best, they look like the best team in the comp. We just didn't see it when it mattered. I think you summed yeah. that up. And Hipwood doing his ACL is one that will have a negative impact for well, at least half a season next year. I can't yeah. remember what he did his ACL exactly, but yeah. uh, that's a blow nonetheless. How would you grade their season? Probably a C plus, B minus. Like yeah, like the finals is ultimately what you're judging this team on after their past three years. Yeah. So you've got to judge harshly, I think, at this point. Yeah, I actually went harsher than you. I put C. Because mm-hmm. I think for a team that, you know, was as a young side that would finish top two, two years in a row, to scrape into the top four and then get eliminated without winning a final, if you'd offered them that at the start of the year, they would have said, ugh. They would have told bit. you to piss right off. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's about par for the course. Mm-hmm. Um, great season generally, but... Finals performance knocks that yeah, down it's, to a C. It's not like you can give them a D, but... No, no, absolutely yeah, exactly. not. No, I think a D would have been yeah. missing finals, for sure. Yeah. Um, off-season picks, they've got uh, two in the first 18, two in the first round, and then a series of 14 later picks. 14 and 18 or something, isn't it? 14 and 18, yeah. um, which there's a little bit of conjecture. What will they do with those picks? Because they have potentially pick one next year through father-son yeah. in Will Ashcroft, I believe it is. Um, so they may do some creative trading to get points for next year, but... Yeah. Yeah, not too sure. Either way, they've got some good access to talent. They brought in Darcy Fort um, yep. as a mature Nice rock, depth so. rock guy, especially with Hipwood gone s- for a year. That's right. I said in a previous video, I was like, oh, Darcy Fort, a young talent. And I realize he's 28. I feel like he hasn't been around that long, eh? But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, somebody actually pointed that out to me in the comments. Are you confident that this it will happen for the Lions going forward? A flag, you mean? Or? Yeah. I'm not as confident as I probably mm. would have been a couple of years ago. Like, mm. they've sort of had prime opportunities and blowing it you don't know how much of that is going to start wearing on their confidence after a while yeah yeah i agree with that i, I think I, I am very confident generally but like i think they're going to be a great team that yeah they'll be among they'll be among the mark but mm. yeah but it's you're right the the lo- they can't just keep losing finals like this yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah again they're a young team so you've got to give them an excuse but yeah. it's a weird one as well it's hard to see how they can improve other than internally at this point like uh, you, yeah, but I think I think that internal improvement is still it's, pretty strong when you got some of those. Yeah, the, definitely. But the they access. need to rely on it now rather than shrewd list management stuff. They need to rely mm. on those guys having yeah, that internal growth. Yeah, you can't just keep making trades and shit to make this team better. At this point, you just got to ride with what you got and push all your chips in. On the subject of that, if they lose Lockie Neal in twelve months, that's uh, that's a huge blow. But they yeah. are a very talented list, regardless. And even when he mm. wasn't playing well this year, they were pretty yeah. good. So they were fine without him, I think. Yeah. Especially if they get a couple of top 10 picks or whatever they yeah. plunder us for if that deal happens. That's true. 